Good evening and good evening and welcome to the Brockton School Committee Building Naming Subcommittee meeting. Today is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. The time is um, 5.45 p.m. I just want to um, establish a quorum. So let's see what we have here. Mrs. Sullivan. Mr. Homer. Here. Mr. Sullivan. Here. And um, Joyce Asak, I'm here. So let's see what we have here. Now that we've established a quorum. So the first item on the agenda is the naming of the stage inside the Brockton High School Nelson Auditorium. Um, so I just wanted to bring some of the committee members up to date. Um, the last time the building naming subcommittee met was um, back in May of 2021. So we had two, um, it was three members at the time and I was one of them. The two other members are no longer on the committee. They moved on to uh, the city council. So we just wanted to bring you up to date to let you know um, what happened with that situation, where we need to do as far as where we're going forward with this. So back on, back in May of 2021, we received a letter from Carla Flamini and I will read the letter. It's dated May 6, 2021. Dear Mayor Sullivan and Superintendent Thomas, I am writing to request that the stage inside the Brockton High School Nelson Auditorium be named to honor BHS alumni Carol Thomas and Vincent Macrina. Their dedication and years of service to the drama and music program has had an immeasurable impact on students and the entire Brockton community. With the upcoming celebration of, the fi of 50 years of musicals, the community will again be able to see a piece of the award-winning program they were so instrumental in shaping over their careers at Brockton High School. Thank you for your consideration, Carla Flamini. So the committee had met at the time, um, and we had a discussion. And I'm going to read from, let's see, from the school committee. Um, read from the school school committee um, notes as far as May 28, 2021. So let's see what we have here. I apologize. There we go. So from the meeting minutes, it pretty much stated that um, the committee at the time, let's see what we have here. Superintendent Thomas presented before the committee the following request. So the request is at the stage inside the Brockton High School Nelson Auditorium be named to honor BHS alumni, Ms. Uh, Carol Thomas and Mr. Vincent Macrina. Their dedication and years of service to the drama and music program has had an immeasurable impact on students in the entire Brockton community. Um, so what we had done is a motion was made. So I made a motion to move this request to a public hearing with regards to naming the Nelson Auditorium stage to honor Ms. Carol Thomas and Mr. Vincent Macrina, and it was seconded by um, Mr. Mark Diagostino at the time. So what we need to do now is um, just bring the committee up to date as far as what we're gonna do. So at the time, a motion was made to have a public hearing. So our next meeting is April 5th, I believe. So um, we're gonna discuss this at the April 5th meeting with the um, whole school committee as far as scheduling the public hearing, going through the process as to notification, and what, how, what we need to do as far as getting the public hearing um, out there for the public. And then I believe we will pick a date um, sometime in early May, depending on when the timeline is, as far as what we need, as, as far as a time frame for a public hearing notification. So the time will be sometime in May that we will, um, as a committee, vote on this. Um, so if any of the members had any questions, um, please let me know. But we just wanted to bring all the current members um, that sit on the subcommittee up to date as to what we need to do, as this was back in May of 2021, um, you know, due to COVID and um, just, you know, the chaos of what happened with COVID and meetings and things like that. The last committee was not able to have that public hearing before the other two members, um, you know, left the committee. So any questions? So was, sure. Did, was there a vote or anything? Uh, we had a motion to move it to have a public hearing. So but we didn't vote. The members did not vote. No, it didn't. It, now it's going to go before the, the committee as a whole uh, to have the public hearing. And then I believe afterwards we will vote on it. We just have to, the last committee recommended that it, we go before, have a public hearing. 
and I believe it's in our policy, and I want to double check because I did check with our attorney. I want to say it's in our policy. I don't remember offhand um, where in the policy it is, but when you name, I believe, a building um, in the school, there's a certain process as far as having a public hearing um, on that. Have we ever had that before, Superintendent Thomas? We have. Yeah. The Angelo School was a lot. We had a public one. hearing yeah, before. Have. I believe the Angela was like the last one that we had. Um, yeah, I'm not sure on that one, but yeah. It is in our policy that, you know, yep. So, the so this is to name the um, stage after Vincent McCreena and Carol Thomas? Correct. Who was, who was a long time drama teacher yep. at Brockton High. And I don't, I think that this is a very fitting tribute to those two great people that affected many children's lives positively. So I think this is, I would vote in an instant for this. Absolutely. So having the, um, having a, a public hearing, it would, it would take place right before one of our meetings or during the meeting and then we'll just open it if anyone has any questions, comments in support of it, things like that, anyone that's not in support of it. And then the committee would go move forward and vote on it. Um, but we, we definitely, I believe we have to have it because it is, the last committee uh, had a motion to have the public hearing. So, um, oh, yeah, but the superintendent said we do it anyway. So, yes, it's done oh, anyway. I did check with our attorney, and our attorney did recommend this is the process that we need to go through. Right. Mr. So. Homer? So, do, do we need to make a new motion to do that for the next no, meeting, April 5th, or are we just kind of establishing that we will do that on April 5th? We'll do an open. We meeting. should be fine because the motion was already yep. made back in May. Okay. And, um, you know, again, with COVID and, and things going on as far as in-person meetings, things like that, um, there was a delay in it. And so the motion was made in May of 2021, and it was properly seconded. And the next step would be to request to have the public hearing um, as far as naming the, um, the auditorium okay. for Ms. Thomas and Mr. McCrina. I was going to say, so forgive me to any constituents. Oh, sure, anybody, no. Anybody who knows that I used to be in this building all the time in high school, but I don't remember. I know it's the Edwin, is it? It's the Edward Nelson Fine Arts Building. Is the auditorium named also the Nelson Auditorium, or is that a proposal that that's going to be like the auditorium itself, not just the stage or like the doors? And the auditorium is named. Okay, that's what I wasn't sure. I just wanted. To, okay. <laughs> okay, I know. I know, like the ROM, the, like the little theater, and I know that uh, the stage. I just couldn't remember what that was in terms of. I know the the name on the outside of the building is one thing, and I wasn't sure if the auditorium already had its name or if it was this shared the name as the building as a whole. So thank no, you. I do apologize. Maybe I missed it, but it's um naming the Nelson Auditorium stage to honor Miss Carol Thomas and Mr. Vincent Macrina. So um, if I missed that, I apologize. But it does state stage in the actual motion. Got it. So you okay. are correct, Mr. Homer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I Mr. Sullivan? Just one question. The, sure. uh, under Robert's rules, I don't think this committee can act on what another committee did two years ago. It was last year. So I did. A year ago? Yeah, I did check with our attorney. So where, our, where that committee had motioned and it was probably seconded, they made a recommendation to have it go to public hearing. Yeah, but now two people have left. It's a, my understanding of Robert's rules is that motion died. You'd have to do it over again. I checked with our attorney, so we can we can double check with the attorney. But I, you know, I checked with. Uh, yeah, no. yeah. Okay, we, words, we can do that. This committee can make a motion. You didn't yeah. think we needed one? I, I talked to the attorney. You don't have to. He, was, he said you don't have to. Yeah, I agree. So if if the committee would feel more comfortable, we can go ahead and make another motion if we needed to. Um, so. Um, if we can make a motion sure. to, and it's going to be um, right here. So a motion to move this request. Oh, let's see. Sorry. Hold on one second. So a motion to request that the stage inside the Brockton High School Nelson Auditorium be named to honor BHS alumni, Ms. Carol Thomas and Mr. Vincent McCrina. And is that a is is that a motion to bring that to 
um, a public public hearing. Public hearing, right? Yes. That's what we want to make the motion for. I think that's what originally I was asking before right. too. Yeah. So I, I would make a motion that we. So bring Mr. Homer has made a motion to uh, yes to, to bring it to public, bring hearing. It to public hearing. Yes. And I'll second it. Okay. So a motion was properly made, Mr. Sol uh, by Mr. Homer, and properly seconded by Mr. Sullivan. Um, he says that. Good. Perfect. Um, so if I can get a, sh um, we'll do a roll call vote. Mrs. Sullivan. Mr. Homer? Yes. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. And I'm a yes. So that um, moves unanimously. So the next, um, April 4th, I believe, April 4th or 5th? We'll schedule a public hearing. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, April 4th or April 5th, I believe, is going to be discussed at the school um, next school committee. And then the public, the public hearing, hearing will be okay. in May. Okay. I believe we can double check on that, but no, I that's believe fine. that's what we, our attorney I had I think you're right. Um, I think advised. you're right. I Perfect. think you're right. It has to be discussed and then sent to the... Perfect. Um, all right. Thanks. Awesome. Um, any... Let's see what we have here. So that... Perfect. Um, do we have any items under other business? Just one... What date is this coming up again? I believe... Let me check. Um, it's the next... The next school committee meeting, meeting is April 5th. It's just going to be on as an agenda item. So it's just coming up. Just for discussion. Um, and then it would be then sent to the, the public hearing. And that would be the night. The, that would be before the f first school committee meeting in May. And then the full school committee would vote on it in their meeting, the first meeting in May. As long as we have proper time. Right. That's all. What happens on, is... Does notice get sent out to people to come? Yeah, down? we have, just like we do, just like we do for the public meeting, we have to post it, put it on our website, put it on the city's website. So we have to post it the same way we post all the other he hearings that we have. We have a hearing on school choice. Um, I forget what the other hearing with we have. This school choice, I believe, is the other one. And the hearing on the budget. We have to post it the same way we post those two hearings. What I was uh, driving at on that public hearing, could somebody make a motion to change and not use Vinnie McCrina and that woman? Oh, I mean, uh, pu public could come in and speak, and, and for reasons they wouldn't. Uh, they can't make a motion. It's not their, they're not voting members, but they could come in and speak in favor or against it. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. The committee will be voting, but um, the pub it's open to the public. The public can come in. Again, they can, um, whether they're in favor or against it, you know, they ha they'll have an opportunity to speak. Um, and it will be the committee's vote as to what they want to do. So um, yeah, but we will make it public to yeah. public notice, you know. It was about 10 years ago where when the, I was just in as executive director of operations um, when Bill Coppiner brought forward a new proposal for building naming. And at that time, the school committee added, added and Bill was a school committee member, that's when we add. You were there too, Sully, I believe. That's when they add, they added the public uh, hearing piece to uh, the policy. So that's now the policy of the school committee it was that was put in at that time. He named those fields up in yeah, by the yeah. Papers. But they did, they wanted to make sure there was a public a chance for the public to be heard, which was not the case before that new policy went in. So the policy was probably put in like 2012. Okay. Right. 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 So you're right. That's where it went in. Yeah. It's, um, we, we did, we, you know, looked up the last one that we right. had worked on. Because we don't really, it, it doesn't happen that often that you actually name a building or are part of a building. Um, so we did look into it and we did speak with the attorney. If anyone has any questions, I mean, we can always reach out to the attorney again. But this is what we were advised um, as far as the process because it did start with another committee and it just never got to the public hearing stage. So, um, so because there's nothing under other business. I just want to. Sure. I, I just want to make sure that I'm not against this at all. I just want to make sure it's done right. That's all. Oh, that's why we're here. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure. So, you know, we could have gone, I believe, directly to the next meeting. But we just, since we have three new members on this subcommittee, we want to just bring everyone um, up to date as to what was discussed um, previously at the last um building naming meeting that we had and then um just so everyone's in agreement and we know what, what the next step is because we do you know it's, it's time that we get this done 
So we are, we are following the proper process. So this is more of a, just to update the committee members, but we did end up taking a motion. So we, we, you know, we do have an updated motion. Um, and the next step would be the April 5th meeting. And then once we have the April 5th meeting, um, you know, they'll notify us as to if it's definitely going to make the May, May 3rd meeting or if it's going to be another meeting in May. Okay. So there's nothing else under new business, um, other business. So can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. So a motion has been made by Mr. Sullivan, seconded by Mr. Homer. All in favor? Unanimous. Um, we will be